Well, some eye-opening responses today from several potential jurors who could decide the fate of former Baltimore City State's attorney Marilyn Mosby. WJZ investigator Mike Helgren is live in Greenbelt with what he heard in court. Mike. Uh, Denise, we had expected a jury to be seated by now. They're running significantly behind schedule. The judge was confident they could get one impaneled today. Right now, jurors are still being individually questioned here on the fourth floor of the courthouse. Marilyn Mosby left her SUV, hugged a supporter. How are you? Then greeted us. Good morning. Walked into federal court for a pivotal day in the perjury case against her. It follows three days of questioning more than 100 potential jurors delayed after a bomb scare yesterday. Some already heard details of the charges. The government accuses the former Baltimore City State's attorney of lying about having a COVID related hardship to get a penalty free withdrawal from her retirement account under a law Congress passed to give relief to those suffering. She used the money to help buy two homes in Florida. One potential juror who was ultimately dismissed told the court, we have family members who are in financial hardship. To hear someone in a political position who's making a quarter million dollars a year and using it to buy vacation homes, it's disturbing. He says he watched this interview Mosby and her former attorney gave to MSNBC last year. There's ulterior motives for something like this, for, for an attack like this. But when you bring an indictment, if, you, if I may, when you bring an indictment four months before an election, when you don't sit down with the defense. Another potential juror says his daughter has seizures and he had to leave work to take care of her because he couldn't find help during the pandemic and took money out of his retirement account through the CARES Act, just like Mosby. He, though, felt he could impartially sit on Mosby's jury. Any comments, Ms. Mosby? Mosby has declined comment during court proceedings this week. The stakes are high. She could face time behind bars if convicted. Now, opening statements are still scheduled to happen on Monday. I'm going to go back inside and I'll continue to update you throughout the afternoon on whether a jury is impaneled today. Reporting live in Greenbelt, Mike Helgren, WJZ.